Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so a few months ago, we got news that there was a new collection of movies coming out. It was called the Film Vault Collection. Uh, it consists of four movies. You've got Scarface, Goodfellas, Blade Runner, and 1917. Now, over the last few months, a few people have asked me, was I going to pick up these editions? And I instantly said no to it. I didn't want to start another collection again. I thought these were going to be a real run-of-the-mill kind of... run-of-the-mill collectible. And uh, yes, I had no, no interest. And up to a week ago, I was still the same. I had no interest at all at picking these up. And then all of a sudden, I seen an unboxing for one of them. And then everything changed. This, these were not what I thought we were going to get. As a matter of fact, I would nearly go as far as to say they're probably some of the nicest premium editions I have ever seen on the 4K format. Everything about them I love. You get a beautiful clear slipcase with each one of these movies. The box set is quite big. They're very, very big and I had no idea that was going to be like that either. Uh, the way the number, because each, each one of these releases are individually numbered and the way that you get your individual number is quite brilliant. It comes in this crystal plate and I thought it was unbelievably unique and I instantly fell in love with them as soon as I seen that unboxing. And when as soon as I seen the unboxing, I went instantly onto Amazon and bought all four of them. Now, on this video, I'm going to be starting with this one here, which is Goodfellas. Now, this is the one that I was real hesitant about picking up because I have it on 4K already. And unfortunately, the 4K transfer in this movie is very, very poor. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's quite famous for its poor 4K transfer. It's one of the worst out there. But unfortunately, the collector in me wanted to pick up all four of these. I did not want to have... Because as you can see on the spine of it here, you have the number. And it just didn't seem right to have, you know... Part of volume one, three, and four, and not have number two in there as well. So, yes, I buckled and I ended up picking this up, even though, like I said, the 4K transfer is very underwhelming. But the set itself is honestly worth it. It really, really is. And uh, regardless of what I think of the 4K transfer, uh, if you are interested in picking up these Film Vault editions, you need to get all of them. You will not believe how good they look. Now, I'm going to be starting with this one in this video, which is number two. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm not starting with Blade Runner, which is number one. Well, the simple reason is I actually don't have it. Amazon did make a mistake, and uh, unfortunately, it didn't get sent with the other three. So I'm going to be doing this one first, and Blade Runner will probably be my last video of the week. So it's a simple unboxing video here, folks. I'm going to take you around this set. I'm going to show you everything that's with uh, that's in this set. And uh, trust me, I think you're in for a tree here. These are absolutely stunning. So um, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, good fellas. So the first thing you will notice is how big this set actually is. Uh, this was a real, real surprise. I was not expecting them to be as big as they are, uh, especially when you do stack it up against a regular 4K release. There is a considerable size difference. And I think that's what kind of brought me over to these releases. And not just that, but they also got these beautiful clear slips. And when I always talked about steelbooks and having clear slips on them, I, I, I'm a big fan of it. I really am. And it's great. It was great to see the kind of clear slips on this. So I, I will take the slip cover off now in a second, but I wanted to just quickly take his around and show it to you. So as you can see up there, you got Fault 002. You got Goodfellas written there as well in the bottom right corner. Of course, you got the main artwork, which I'll show you now very, very soon. Right, so that is the spine of it there. Now, the bad news is these are not stickers. They're part of the slip cover, and I know that's going to bother a few people. Uh, but like I said, it never really bothers me. And that is the back of the uh, the slip box itself. And uh, it gives you an idea of everything that's inside this set. Uh, they are limited to 3,000. And uh, I love the way that you're, how, the, how to display your number on each one of these releases, which I'm going to be showing you very, very soon. So there you have it. That is the uh, the slip. And there's nothing that the sides are, but both spines are the same. Top and bottom, nothing there. So, uh, right, let's open this up and have a look. Right, so here we go. So here is the artwork. It's the opening sequence to Goodfellas. I thought it was a great uh, choice to use for the main cover for Goodfellas. And uh, yeah, big fan of it. I think the print of the picture looks beautiful. Uh, it has a lovely matte finish to it. It's just a very, very classy looking set. 
So uh, there's nothing on the spines. Of it. The kind of the picture kind of does continue it slightly on the spines. But it doesn't go on to the back, which I'm going to show you now in a second. But yeah, nothing on the top and the bottom of it. So uh, yeah, that's the main artwork. And there you go. That is the back. And you have uh, Robert De Niro there on the on the phone. Uh, and of course, you got some of the credits down there. And of course, good feathers. So yes, love the artwork de uh, design, especially on the front cover there. I think it looks stunning. So uh, right, let's open this up and have a look inside. So this is a giant envelope that you have here. But I'm going to just show you quickly the artwork. Uh, on the left hand side here so as far back I, as I can remember I always wanted to be a gangster Henry Hill and uh, yeah again that's very close to the opening uh, sequence to the movie as well so yeah a lot of the artwork in the, on this set is actually kind of yeah a lot of what you see at the start of the movie which is uh, yeah it's very different and uh, just another thing in case you are wondering this is a uh, magnetic mag magnetically closed as well uh, I think you can sort of see I think you can sort of see the magnets there look yeah you can kind of make them out so right let's open this up and have a look at the envelope so here we go this is the artwork for it it's quite simple you have a gun there a bit of smoke coming out of it as well and of course goodfellas uh, written in the bottom and you've got the cast there as well and of course martin scorsese so uh yeah quite a sizable envelope this one and uh, nothing on the spines of it and then the back of it uh uh what's it say never rat in your friends and always keep your mouth shut and that is jimmy conway so uh right open this up let's have a look inside and see what we've got so let me just make sure that everything's gone out of this yep uh now these postcards are insane i have seen some postcards on premium sets but nothing to this quality these are amazing they really really are and i think they all have uh, different quotes or something on the back of them there you go so uh, i'm just quickly going to uh, quickly take you through them because i don't want to go on too long with these but there you go that is the first one there uh, they do have this beautiful high gloss finish. I can't stress how beautiful they actually feel in your hands. Uh, they really are stunning. So that's the second one there. Uh, then on to the third one. And I'll take us around to the back there. And let's just have a quick look at the, the quote from the movie. So, right, that's three of them gone. Here we go on to the fourth one. I love the sequence in the movie. It's one of my favourite scenes actually in the movie. And then right around to the back. Right, so that's the fourth one. Now on to the fifth. And then take his right around to the back. Right, so there we go. So how many more have we got? I think we've got another three here. <laughs> that's actually a great, that's a very funny scene. It is. And then of course at the back of it. Uh, and then on to our next one. Again, I'm hoping that's coming across the camera how, you know, the kind of high gloss finish on these. And then we're on to our last one, which we've got really over there. Uh, sadly, sadly missed. What a wonderful actor. Now, there we go. That is the uh, postcards. And then we have this small poster i think it is it's a double-sided poster as well let me see if i can quickly open it up for you so that's one side of it there uh, i hope you can make that out but there you go yeah that gives you a good idea and then turn it around and that's the other side of it so yes a small very small poster um not sh this poster is kind of almost pointless compared to the postcards the postcards are very high quality where the uh the poster not so much so right this is the inside of uh the, the actual set itself uh the first thing i'm going to show is i'm going to take out this one here the actual discs and here we go and again just looks amazing you got a bit of the, the kind of it feels it does it have a matte finish to it there is a bit of spot glossing going on especially the blood here as well uh yeah again i hope they kind of color it there is a there's a hint of red there. I don't know if it's coming out in the camera or not, but uh, yeah, it looks it looks fantastic. It really does. So uh, I presume this is to do with the Joe Pesci's uh, demise, unfortunately, in this movie. Apologies, uh, spoilers there, if you have not seen the movie already. So uh, right there to the back of it. And uh, anything on the spines of it? No. Like I said, just a very classy looking set. And uh, right, open it up and uh, I'll show you the... Right, there's some artwork there. Uh, from the movie and then when I open it up you will have your 4k disc and your blu-ray disc and then of course you got another quote from the movie there on the left hand side and then right over here to the right you've got Joe Pesci 
and then we just turn it around and let's have a look so that is the, all the artwork on the back of the discs so again this has a high gloss finish as well and uh, it really is yeah it's i honestly can't praise it enough so uh, i just wanted to quickly put this back in for you and then i'm going to show you the number plate uh, if i can get this back in uh, there we go right so let me slot her back in there we go and here we go this is the uh the crystal plate that you get your unique number on it so as you can see i have 2719 i hope that's coming across there okay on the camera uh the weight of this is very very heavy uh and really this is probably the best way i've ever seen when it comes to like a numbered edition the way to actually display it I think it's quite brilliant. As you can see, there's a standy blade there as well. Bit of garlic there as well. So yes, and that's the really turn around the back of it. That is where the etching is. So this is unbelievably unique. I can't stress to you how unique this is. And uh, again, another reason to what kind of drew me to this to this set. Uh, to all four of them for that matter. So there you go. That is your, your crystal plate with your very unique number. Again, it keeps going out of focus there, so I'm sorry. So uh, yeah, very, very unique and incredibly, incredibly classy. So there you have it, folks. That is the Goodfellas edition. And uh, I can't stress to you how much I'm, how happy I am that I actually picked these up. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is the first of four. And I am going to try and put out all four of these videos this week. I just think they're stunning looking sets and I'm kind of hoping that I might be able to turn some of those heads out there just the way mine was turned as soon as I seen unboxings for these. They do look that good and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that my video here will do it justice to how beautiful they actually look. So that is it folks, that is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on these sets. I'm curious to hear what you're going to say. And yeah, I am hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.